It's not about the food. It's about causing man to break the law that God has given unto him. You know, I told you last week that Satan will never offer you pleasure for the purpose of pleasure. If he's offering you pleasure, it's because he has seen something in your life that in the realm of the spirit, that thing he has seen, and the thing he's offering you, exchange can take place. If you, if you, if you take what he's offering you, he's taking something from you. Don't you get it? Think Satan really likes you. He hates you vehemently. If there's something you need and the devil is offering it to you, run, no. Stop needing it. <laughs> You're not hearing what I'm saying. When I know they hear what they talk. Stop what? <laughs> know ye not that to whom you yield yourself, servants to obey. What happens? His servants you are. So the moment the wife ate and gave the man, and the man ate, what happened there was what? Exchange. That's when Satan became the god of this world. Instantly, his first point of call via the tree of death, because that's what that tree was, was to cause man's eyes to stop depending upon God for wisdom, but to look and get wisdom from the devil and from sensual knowledge. He began to operate by his senses, no longer by the leading of God's spirit. That wisdom that he had that enabled him to name the animals and said, whatsoever he called them, that was their name. Thereof. That same wisdom that made him pipe from God's mind and say, so shall a man live. Before man ever got married, he already read the blueprint. What Paul called the great mystery. He read it so, so, so casually. <laughs> hey, you're not with me, oh. And the moment he yielded, exchange took place. The devil has not changed in operating that way. That's why the Bible says, give no place to the devil. Because the only place he can have is the one that you give to him. And many of us believers, we are ignorant. We are ignorant of his devices. The Bible says we are not. Some of us have deliberately chosen to be ignorant of his devices. Even though the believer should not be. But. <laughs> Do you even know when Satan is offering you something? Do you know when yeah, some, something is being offered to you? Do you know when it is the devil that is orchestrating it? And when is God? If you allow lust and greed to rule your life, 85% of things you will have will be offered to you from the devil. 85. Because, you know what? The, the two greatest things that can dampen the discernment of a man are lust and greed. Many of you that have entered one chance is because of greed. You were inside the car, and then as you were inside the car, you were maybe in the front seat or the back seat, and then the, the driver and somebody started to juice. They say, oh boy, I don't know, I just get one guy, I must go. I put like 200 kids for inside the, the buto. I don't know, more than find somebody pack, more share them now. Then they will now ask you, Tolu Afa, or they know you. Say, bro, we get money for buto, more pack, more share the money now. And Tolu has been looking for money since for phone. <laughs> Some of you look me. Tolu, they find money since to buy phone. In fact, Solo has saved 130k. He just needed 70 more k to reach 200k to buy one very clean London used iPhone X. And they said, bro, we get 70k, we will more give you like this. <laughs> you will not ask, where did the money come from? How did you get? You know, that, in that, in that, if, if, if it is greed that is powering you at that time, you are not likely to ask those questions. If it's greed that is powering you at that time, you are not likely to ask those questions. It will dampen your discernment. As a guy, if you allow lust to, you will not know when Jezebel. <laughs> if you allow lust, you know, I told you my story last week. Eh? I told you my story. And I hope you will learn from that story. No, no, go watch video, guy. <laughs> I have not get time. Story of how the mighty man almost fell. Hey! Kilomas Asila. That one means may God give you understanding. 